In this lecture, I'll show you where to find and how to navigate the NetApp documentation. I'll also show you the Hardware Universe webpage where you can find full details on all of NetApp's hardware and compatibility information. I'm on the homepage at netapp.com right now. The first thing I want to do is click on sign in and then click on support. At this point, it will normally ask you for a username and password. You can sign in here with just a guest user account. I'm already signed in, so that's why it didn't prompt me. Now that I'm here, I'm going to click on docs and knowledge base and then A to Z documentation. And in here, you'll find all of NetApp's different products and services. So you can see under D, we've got dish shelves. You can go there to find the hardware information about the dish shelves, also the cabling guides. Then we have got, in fact, I go back up to A, you see we've got the AFF series. So you can find the hardware information about the hardware platforms and again, cabling information. We've got the same thing for each of the different FAS models as well. What I want to look at here is under O, I'll go to on tap nine and I'll open up that in a new tab. This gives you all of the different software configuration guides. So under on tap nine, something I love about the NetApp documentation is right here you can click for zip format and that will download all of the different documents. They come as a PDF. With other vendors, what often happens is that they will have multiple different PDFs. And if you wanna have a library on your laptop of all the documentation, you have to download them one at a time and it's super inconvenient. With the NetApp website, I just click on zip here and I can download all of those different PDFs as one zip file. So super convenient. I'll click on all documents here and you can see that there are a lot of the different PDFs. With the naming of them, it's really easy to see what each of the different PDFs is about. For example, the transition guide for transitioning to ONTAP, that's if you're doing a migration from seven mode to clustered ONTAP. You can see how to configure your disks and aggregates, etc. And there's a different PDF here for pretty much all of the different tasks that you would be wanting to do. And the documentation is really well written. All of the guides are very short to the point and concise. So that's where you can find the documentation PDFs for ONTAP and for your hardware platforms and for your disk shelves. NetApp do also have another way you can get to documentation you can just go to docs.netapp.com and then that will bring a different page which is here and you can see again your AFF systems, your FAS systems and on tap under here but this actually doesn't take you to the same page so if I open up documentation there it does have useful information it's going to take me to this web page here which is the ONTAP9 Documentation Center. This will take a few seconds to load. And then when it does, you can see you've got all the contents here on the left and you can expand that out to look at different documentation. Personally, I don't really come here very often unless Google search has taken me here. I prefer to download all those PDFs and then I can just go to the PDF that I need. Okay, so that was the NetApp documentation. Let's also have a look at Hardware Universe. Now, with Hardware Universe, it's not the same as a documentation site where anybody can look at it. You just need to sign up for a guest user account. To get into Hardware Universe, you do need to have a user account, which is a customer or a partner level account. So I've got that, so I can get in. So let's go there now. The URL is really easy to remember. It's just hwu for hardwareuniverse.netapp.com. So I will load up the page now. While it's loading, you're probably going to see that it's going to check my credentials. That's what it's doing now. It's checking that my user account is allowed to get in here. And then the page will load. And when it does, you're going to see there's a menu atop the across the top for all of the different types of NetApp hardware. So 
I can click on platforms and you can see there are all the different platforms. I can also go to check the different adapters like the, the ethernet cards, the fiber channel cards, etc. The different shelves that are available, the drives that go in there, the cabinets, the switches, cabling, and I can compare storage systems as well. Also on the front page here of the dashboard, I have got links where I can download PDFs. The HWU poster is actually quite useful. You can print that out as a big poster and it gives you summary information about all of the different NetApp platforms. Also, you can see your recent queries that you've run in Hardware University. You can pull that information back up again. We've got Hardware Universe News up in the top right and the FAQ for the frequently asked questions. So to give you a quick demo of this, let's have a look under platforms. Let's say I wanted to have information about the AFF platforms. So I will select all flash FAS. And then in here, it's not just for current models. It shows you all the historical information as well. So it's very easy to find compatibility information in here as well. If you're not sure if an older piece of equipment will work with a newer piece of equipment. Let's say that I'm working just on ONTAP 9.5 right now. So I will select that. It will show me all of the platforms that can run ONTAP 9.5. So let's select the AFF 700 and give this a few seconds to load. So I also want to see information about the AFF A300 on the same page as well. I'll select that too and then click on show results. And this gives me really detailed information, pretty much everything I would want to know about the controllers. So we just have to give the page a few seconds to load here. Once it's done, I'll scroll down, I'll come back up to the top. You can see the maximum raw capacity, the maximum devices, etc. A bit further down, you can see the CPU, memory, NVRAM, the interfaces that are on board. Uh, etc and you get environmental information further down as well you also get all of the maximums such as how many nodes you can have in a cluster how many volumes how many aggregates etc pretty much everything you would want to know and if i scroll back up to the top here you can see we can get information about what are the supported shelves and drives that fit in each of those shelves as well and also the supported adapter cards if there are expansion slots on those controllers Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp storage complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.